This video is all about high-end home decor on a budget. Let me just tell you, I have found some gems and I cannot wait to share with you what I found. My name is Jorge Freno and I love all things home decor, including finding the deals. Yes. So this video is going to be all the things that I am loving, some things that I found online, some home decor dupes. No particular order here, so let's just dive right in. Let's begin with some furniture. So first up, we have the Dolores Kane console table here at Pottery Barn. This console is a beautiful uh, credenza, I'll call it. It costs just slightly over $2,000. This is US pricing. I will say that with this console or with any like furniture piece you can often just type in that whole name into google and it will share it'll like show other places that sell it now they might call it something else but in this case like i've seen this a lot and i think it's the same manufacturer you can look around for deals for that but either way we have this one we have the smaller one with the two doors now if you're looking to maybe save some money consider this one i found out in france and sun this is the stock four-door credenza you kind of get that nice uh, a similar look the with the cane, uh, but definitely at a fraction of a price. If you are really on a budget, I would say, look at this one. This is, I found this on Amazon. It's under $150. Now, you might get some MDF board or some wood composite, I'm not sure, but you are getting that look for less. And here's a little hack for you. If you put two together, you can get that credenza look. I've seen this done before many times. I've done it with some uh, Ikea cabinets in my office area. It looks like a large credenza. Now, if you wanna upgrade this one a little bit, maybe switch out the legs. I have used these legs, I found these on Amazon. These are metal legs that you can attach to any furniture piece. They come in different sizes and finishes. I like the black one personally. Maybe you can even upgrade like your sofa legs and switch them out with something like this. But if you put these legs on the cabinet you can kind of elevate that feeling a little bit more maybe you can even just paint the existing legs black or leave as is it's, it's it's a good cabinet so definitely a good way to get that look for less while we're on the subject of credenzas you know i love cb2 cb2 offers a lot of home decor pieces that kind of a more uh some trendy i would say but definitely more of a statement a lot of elegance involved with this this is the scion 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 uh, credenza i'm loving this it is back ordered which seems to be pretty common these days this one is a statement to piece i don't know is this like part of me is like this feels very trending but at the same time it's one of those pieces that when styled with the right um, furniture pieces and decor i feel like this is something that could definitely uh, work for years to come like in terms of design styles because if you're spending if you're putting a pretty penny on furniture piece, you want to make sure that it's going to be uh, timeless or not necessarily timeless, but it's going to, you know, give you your money's worth, right? So I think this is one of those pieces, maybe a splurge, but hey, why not? Now moving into the bathroom, we spend a decent amount of time in there, actually. You know, we shower there, we get ready there. So why not elevate that experience a little bit? And a simple upgrade could be just switching out the towels. You know, we have to switch out our towels every so often and maybe the next iteration we do waffle towels i'm really loving these ones um, from target these are from the gasa luna collection uh, i actually have a waffle robe and I, it just feels very nice it's kind of feels luxurious you know connotations with like a spa or a resort or what have you and these towels i think are going to do it i can't decide between these two colors there's white and this medium brown for the bathroom i like to just keep it simple and since you're like you know, you're drying your hands with this. The texture feels nice. It's, I don't know, it's an experience. If you know, you know. By the way, I'm gonna link everything that I can below in case you're feeling the spirit. Continuing with the bathroom. So have you heard of Hasami porcelain? Hasami porcelain, beautiful. It comes from Japan. I think it's originally from Hasami, Japan. Beautiful porcelain that has this earthy look to it. It's like brown, but there's other colors as well, but it kind of patinas nicely over time. And with a lot of Hasami, uh, porcelain pieces they are typically kind of have this modern look to them and i think it's lovely but it's it's pretty pricey at least here in the states and what is that target i came across this so this isn't hasami but it looks like hasami this is from the hearth and hand collection these are it's actually a collection for the bathroom these are some canisters perfect for you know 
bathroom things. I also got the tray here. I didn't see the, the I also have like the soap uh, dispenser. I didn't see it in store, but it's online. I really like the way that this like feels. I mean, it's kind of like, it's that earthy texture that, you know, we love. Especially when you put this on a bathroom, if you are a minimalist or just like to keep things simple, I think this might be a good one to go about. I don't know about you, but I love the restoration hardware aesthetic. You know, they have different styles within the brand, but they have the French contemporary line, which you probably have seen very popular. I came across this one. So this is the French contemporary glass door. It's a cabinet, double doors with the glass, a couple of different finishes. Of course, it's a pretty penny. If you know RH, you know RH. It's a pretty penny. The thing about RH though is their pieces are larger. So if you have like a large space, it's all about scale. So if you have, if you're putting tiny things in a big space, it's, it doesn't feel right, right? Well, they have this cabinet. I found kind of a dupe, I would say, at Walmart. This is the Casas Home uh, Wilson Curio Cabinet. I feel like this one's maybe a little bit, a little bit more rustic, but I still think it's a good dupe and it's a fraction of the price. Now, I was looking at the scale of this, the dimensions, it is a little bit shorter, um, like a foot shorter than the RH1. Um, but if you don't have like a really big space, this is definitely a good option. You could put a couple of these together. If you want to make it a little bit higher, again, go back to these um, legs that I found on Amazon. That might be a good option. You can put these underneath, get some height on there. Maybe you can paint them to match the existing hardware. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, or I even share it here in the community tab um, section, on my website, gossarefine.com, I do this segment called Room Refined, where I put together sort of uh, vignettes of spaces or like a little uh, section. So my recent one was the dining room. So I put together two dining room edits. I came across this dine or these dining chairs. Now these are uh, the Sharon Wood dining chairs. A little bit more mid-century, I would say, which, you know, I love mid-century. And I don't know, mid-century is, to me, it's pretty timeless. I set it to for 370, at least right now at this time of this video. I'm not sure <laughs> They probably go up, I don't know. But these are, they feel like high-end chairs to me because a lot of the things that I save on Instagram or on my Pinterest tends to lean towards this style that brings in these mid-century. And it's just my, you know, per preferred style. I also found these ones, I actually just recently found these ones. Wellington, these have sort of, they kind of have that wishbone look in a sense, which is nice. And you can like pair these with like a modern, a black uh, dining table or something a little bit bulkier or something mid-century. These types of chairs really work well with lots of different styles. So I'm in the market for some new dinnerware and I almost bought this one. Actually, I'm between this one and a Crate and Barrel set, but this is the Tilly Stonework Collection from Target. This set is beautiful. It comes in a couple of different colors. I like the dark gray version uh, best. This set, 16 piece set, you get, you know, your bowls, your salad, your dinner plates, and these nice modern mugs. I kind of like the look of these. Definitely a modern form and food is going to look absolutely delicious in this, whether you're reheating uh, something in the microwave or you are an artisanal cook making the most delicious pasta or what have you. Either way, this is gonna make your food look good. This could work well with like a white tablecloth or black tablecloth, more linen styles, or if you like to just keep your uh, raw wood, that could look good with light wood, dark wood. It's one of those things that works well with a lot of different things. So it's something to think about, right? Should I get this one or should I get the one from Crate and Barrel? Crate and Barrel. I'm gonna put side by side here. Which one would you gravitate towards? Speaking of food, it's time to upgrade the cookware here at the house and I cannot tell you how excited I am for what's in this box. Caraway, if you haven't heard, is really changing the cookware game. Yes, I have been influenced. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. So if you haven't heard, Caraway offers 100% non-toxic ceramic cookware and bakeware. As you know, I love a minimalist modern aesthetic and these are perfect for that love the sleek design of them and they also come in lots of different colors so i ended up ordering the gray one i almost ordered the beige but i really like the gray one i hope you can see on camera the quality of this now the cookware sets come with organizers at no extra cost so we have sort of these right here you can put the pans on there 
Look at that, that's perfect. Saves some space on the shelf, which I know uh, that can sometimes take up a lot of space. I really like this. This is literally genius. So we have this uh, organizer. You can put your lids on there and with the hooks that they provide, you can stick this onto the door. That way you're not taking up any shelf space, which can be very valuable. But thanks again to Caraway for sending these over. I cannot wait to use them. We do a lot of cooking around here, so they're definitely gonna get their good use and I'll update you and see how they're doing. But be sure to get your limited 10% off uh, by clicking the link below. And thanks again to Caraway. I finally got it. I finally got this. So this is a, a planter from Target. It's from the new McGee line, obviously. You know, it's a planter, it's marketed as a planter. It'd be a great planter, you know, for plants, obviously plants. But if we rebrand it, remarket it as a vase, this could also be a vase. Think of it this, if you were to walk into RH and you saw this piece right here, how much would you think this would cost? Probably like six times the price of Target, right? I went outside and I got some branches, put this on here with the branches. Beautiful, looks expensive. It looks like we just snagged this from an RH showroom. Speaking of planters, run, run to Home Depot, or maybe you can order it online if I can find it, but this is a terracotta bowl. I was trying to buy this for the longest time last summer, but it was sold out. At first glance, it's like, oh, okay, I like the modern look of it. Not a fan of the orange. I actually bought one of these uh, last year, or actually two years ago, I think. And I put my succulents on here. You've probably seen it um, on my, Instagram and I think probably in videos. I actually did sort of like a light wash, white wash on it. I took some white paint and some water and kind of gave it a distressed look because I really like the look of distressed terracotta or aged terracotta. So you can definitely do something like that for this bowl, but it can also be decorative. It doesn't need to be a planter. You can put some like moss balls on there. You can put some uh, beautiful stones that you found along you know, the river, what have you and all sorts of things in there. It does have the hole. <laughs> Maybe you can paint this, and I think I'll probably do a DIY with this, so stay tuned. If you've been following for a while, you know that I kind of have an obsession with pedestals or columns or pillars or display stands, whatever you call them. I actually have made one before, and I do have a DIY coming up, DIY video coming up. I'm actually in the middle of filming it right now, so be on the lookout for that. If you're not feeling the DIY spirit and want to buy one at a reasonable price, this is the best price that I have seen for one of these. I actually found this Etsy seller. They they sell a couple of different sizes and they're handmade. I personally would get the matte white. I think that's uh, a better look. I'm not a fan of glossy uh, finishes, at least for this. I don't know. Perfect for bringing in architectural interest to your space. If you don't like the just plain white look, you can maybe do some lime wash on it, some plaster. Of course, a good way to get that high-end feeling at home is with good scents. And that doesn't need to be expensive. And this one from Target will do. This one is, ooh, it smells really nice. This is, smell it. The scent is Masala Rose. And I like a candle that also functions as like a jar or something afterwards. So this would be a good little jar with the ribbed glass. If you're looking for some tapered candles, check out H&M Home. They have, you can get a pack of two for $2.99. Have a couple of different colors. I'm really loving this dusty rose one. They also have this yellow one, kind of looks like beeswax candles almost, and light purple. Definitely a good way to Bring in a little bit of color. All right, for this next one, let's just keep this a secret between you and I because we don't want the word to get out because everyone's gonna order these, but these are Sputnik lights. So uh, there's this seller on Etsy that sells these. I actually ordered my office um, uh, lamp from them, light fixture. They have different mid-century style pieces. These are handmade. They are custom order, so you can select the finish. And I think you can even uh, adjust the size of them if you want. I don't know, you have to, don't quote me on that. They have a couple of different options. I'm really loving this three light dome one. You get that up lighting, reflect that off the ceiling. It feels, um, I like the, that type of lighting. They also have this other mid-century one um, and it has the counter balls, I think that's what they're called. Um, kind of sculptural, elegant. They look way more expensive than they actually cost. And it's of course gonna vary by the light fixture, but I love that you can choose the finish. I really like the antique brass one. I think that's what they call it. Yes, antique brass, that's the one I selected. It feels very nice. It feels like good quality. So definitely, if you're looking for a light upgrade for your chandelier and your 
dining room, maybe a sconce. They also have some sconces here. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm partnering with Rugs USA to try out different rugs um, and other home decor pieces. So go and follow me over there. But I recently shared this ivory jute rug. I tried it out in the living room. Absolutely loved it. It's a good way to bring in a little bit of pattern um, with this sort of diamond uh, effect. The trellis area rug comes a couple of different colors and sizes, of course. I really like the ivory one. Um, it's like, it brings in pattern, but it still feels minimal. You know, it's something that I love. I love that, like the organic look to it. You know, jute is a natural material. It comes with some imperfections here and there, but it's the aesthetic. Um, and I think I get, I can give you 10% off if you use my link, which I will put. All right, I think we're gonna finish off with this one. So back to RH. RH, of course, has um, beautiful furniture, home decor, the vessels, those vintage vases. They have lots of them. And of course, so many great DIYs out there. I've seen lots of videos. I have a couple myself. Uh, but if you're not feeling the DIY sprig, head over to Bed Bath & Beyond and hurry up because I think these are uh, gonna be discontinued soon. They're on clearance. If, it looks like they're on clearance. Uh, but they are these large stoneware vases. They have two sizes and they have that RH look but at a fraction of the price. I think the small one's like 32, but that's not really small, it's 12 inches. The large one is $40 and it's 20 inches. So definitely uh, pick those up if you're looking. For All right, I think we're gonna call it good for today's video. Um, I definitely shared a lot of different pieces I found. I do wanna say when it comes to high-end interiors, regardless of the design style, one thing that I learned when I worked in an architecture firm and worked in some high-end residential projects is finding pieces that are unique, that kind of stand out, that make a space feel a little bit more interesting, right? You're curating a space and you want to find pieces that do that. So with a lot of the pieces that I'm sharing, yes, they are mass produced, they are um, very accessible, but when you take some of these things and start mixing them with maybe a awesome piece that was handed down to you by your grandmother or something cool that you found at the thrift store or on Etsy or what have you, it kind of starts to elevate things and it starts to make it feel interesting. And so, for example, if you like, for example, an RH showroom, you take that showroom, you get some home decor dupes, you get that look, you put it in your home, but then it's like, okay, this is beautiful, but now how do I take it to the next level? You bring in things that add personality, that are more connected to you and your family. So something to keep in mind. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Check out my other videos if you haven't seen them already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.